So the festive season is one of those seasons that causes tension in relationships, right? Where you find the guy wants to go out and the girl wants to be like this behind the guy, right? And you'd be like, but can I just have a boy's night out, right? And the woman won't let you. Or it's the girl who wants to have a weekend away with the girls, but your boyfriend or your husband is just like this. They don't want to let you go, right? So there's so many tensions that happen now that everybody's relaxed. People get to, you know, see things. People get to go places. Now you don't want your partner next to you all the time because you just want to be free. It's the festive season. So I thought I should talk about the one question that causes tension in most relationships. And that is... What does the opposite sex want for peace sake? I am Pulamans, your inner voice magnified. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. And for those of you who are new, hello. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you have already done so, please get your people and their people to subscribe to my channel. And please don't forget to click the notification bell to know every time I upload a new video. If you like the video, like it. If you like it, like it. Please don't forget to leave your comment as well. Your perspective is everything to me, right? And finally, don't forget to share this video if it inspires you. And if it does nothing for you, I tell you, somebody connected to it, to you rather, might be needing this message. So share it anyway right so what does the opposite sex want you know i've been in so many conversations with a uh, men or with women where the question remains what do women want what do men want right and you know we've been through these conversations i mean i've evolved in terms of my involvement in such conversations at first i was one of those people who just wanted to know what do we i mean what do men want i was one of those women right and it clicked some i don't know maybe because of maturity because of growth I started realizing that, you know, the one question that will stress you is trying to figure out the whole gender. And that is where we all go wrong. Most of us, rather, go wrong. We want to understand the gender in its entirety in uh, from one conversation you know you find men being so frustrated because they just don't understand what do women want and the same goes with women we get so frustrated trying to figure out what exactly do these men want from us right but i've recognized that you will have peace when you start narrowing your focus to what does my partner want? Because guys, we are all individuals. What one woman wants can be a complete opposite of what the next woman wants. So trying to understand a gender is a source of unrest in any person's life so it is important to just focus on what your partner wants you know i figured that you know once you focus on your partner only you focus on your relationship you will start having peace and you will start realizing that actually your woman or your man is not that complicated right they will tell you exactly what they want and what you need to do is to give them what they want if your woman wants to be like this on behind you <laughs> the whole festive season she's like you know what in festive season i don't do boys i, I don't accept this boys night out talk in our house right if that's what your woman says, then your duty as a man is to serve your woman's needs. You might be finding a guy who wants to cuddle all through this festive season and you're thinking, my guy, can I just have a girl's weekend away? But if your man wants to cuddle the whole festive season, your duty is to serve him. So when you serve your partner and 
your partner serves you back then this relationships this relationship becomes peaceful you start understanding that actually this specific person that i'm dealing with is not as complicated as the entire gender is so guys it is festive season let's not stress our minds out let's just focus on having peace in our lives and forget the question what do women want because we can never have a blanket statement of what women want you know i was watching this show called after the vows right and there were <laughs> and one guy was saying you know i saw on social media that it is romantic to have you know flowers um, rose petals on the floor and the works right and this guy did that but when the wife came back from work she was like oh my gosh this is so beautiful but who's going to clean all of this? The tile is going to be stained because of all this, these flowers on the floor. Who's going to? Who, uh, do you expect me to clean up after you? After you? Who, you created this mess. Now I'm supposed to come and clean up. <laughs> you know? Whereas some ladies would find that that is the, the most romantic gesture a man can do for them right so it becomes complicated when we start wanting to understand the gender in order to understand our partners because that's where the question comes from the person is struggling you are struggling maybe with your partner and you go out there to find people of the opposite sex to try and figure out what they want so that you can bring that thing into your relationship instead of sitting down with the one person that you are responsible for and asking them what do you want i tell you most of the time women say exactly what they want your partner has probably said a lot of what they want in this relationship but because we are so focused on what the gender wants we want to impose all these things that we've had from outside our relationship into our, our, our relationship and we find that your partner is always complaining about your efforts have you really listened to what your your partner umuntu wakho your own partner wants have you really internalized the things that she talks about have you really internalized the things that he is asking of you you know you might have a partner who say i will never switch on the lights in the house i'm the man in this house <laughs> Are you are you catering to that as a woman i mean your friends will tell you eh, eh, he's trying to boss you around but fact is that's your person that's what he likes that's how he feels appreciated when you come rushing home to switch on the lights because you recognize hey the child it's time up the curfew <laughs> because it's in a way giving you a curfew and he likes it when you come rushing home because you recognize that you know it's now curfew time right i mean when you start narrowing your focus to only what your partner wants then i tell you this festive season will be great there won't be tensions in your relationship there won't be somebody wanting to go somewhere without somebody but somebody wants to go along <laughs> There won't be all that chaos because we will decide at the beginning of the festive season how we will spend the season, what days we will spend together. If it's going to be 31 days of December that we are spending together, then nobody must say when it's the 15th, tomorrow it's the 16th, now I want to go away with the boys or the girls without you, right? Whatever decisions that we make at the beginning of the festive season, we must stick to those decisions right not unless obviously you get a bless the blessing from your partner to change the plans right so focus on your person this festive season guys serve your person forget about the gender because you will cause yourself unrest and you will not have joy this festive season in your relationship for as long as you're focusing on the out what the outside people are saying listen and serve 
I am Filamans, your inner peace and purpose coach. Guys, don't forget to do the right thing. Please subscribe to my channel.